Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today I have a brand new Zodiac video for you guys and I have the long awaited 10 things about the cancer. You guys actually listened to my rant on the previous video which is the Gemini video when everyone was nagging me to post a Gemini video and no one has been harassing me over the cancer video. I'm so happy. If you guys saw my Gemini video, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that rant that I had in the beginning. I think I've gotten one message on the cancer video, so I really do appreciate that. So yeah, today we have the 10 things about the cancer. Cancer is one of those signs that I have a love-hate relationship with. I have kind of dated some cancers in the past, like I've gone on some dates with like maybe three of them. I don't know why, I attract a lot of cancers. I have three or four to be honest. I have a sister who's a cancer, I had a best friend who was a cancer, like I, I'm very familiar with cancers. Um, but yeah, so I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them. But anyways, enough about me, on to the 10 things about the cancer. Okay, so one of the first things about the cancer is that they are super, super, super moody. They are like so happy one second, so nice, so like personable one second, and then the next second they're like miserable. <laughs> or they're just kind of acting weird or they're just off like their moods switch like this their ruling planet is the moon so their moods are kind of like the faces of the moon you know how the moon's constantly changing and evolving that's like the cancer that's how they are so they have this strange personality in which oh by the way I forgot to say my my sign my rising sign is cancer so I have a lot of cancer traits also anyways um so their mood is constantly changing and it's kind of hard to keep up with because one second they're having a great time the next second they're chill the next second they're angry the next second they're having a great time it's like what is going on but um they're really easy to be around if you can handle that but if you don't have patience i will say that they can get a little bit frustrating but you know it's okay so number two is that there's a misconception of the cancer that they're shy people they are and they aren't i would say like i usually say that there are two sides to every zodiac sign the cancer has a very friendly social personality like when you first meet them you will not think they're shy you're gonna like them like if there's one sign that you meet and you instantly like and you feel like there's nothing wrong with them it's cancer actually cancer and aries two signs um it, one of them though is the cancer because the cancer is the kind of person that you meet and right away you like them and you click with them like that and you're just like wow this person's awesome they're so friendly they're social they ask you questions they're considerate they're caring so you really really like that about them but then they can also be very shy and reserved at times Sometimes, um, they like to stay away from certain things and if they start to like you they're very very shy they will avoid eye contact they won't make too many moves on you they are just like just it, they just kind of switch like it's weird so that's the thing like they're not really shy but they're also not completely out there and outgoing they're just friendly and lovable and social but they're not like necessarily outgoing so number three is that the cancer fears rejection. The cancer, like, it, when it comes to like every aspect of life, they are constantly fearing rejection. If you like a cancer and you know they like you, it will take forever for them to make the first move on you. If you're waiting for a cancer to make the first move, good luck. Like, just good luck with that because it takes a long, long time. They constantly fear rejection in relationships, in in everything like in relationships is number one but in everything like going after a job like getting a job interview they fear rejection they just they hate the idea of of just being rejected so they try and avoid it like they're not like a leo or gemini where they're so confident that like yeah the rejection is not a good thing but they'll just like you know overcome it and they're gonna be confident in what to do this can affect the cancer's confidence because they're already a little bit insecure so a little bit insecure we'll get on to that number four um they're already a little bit insecure so the the idea of rejection just sh like shatters them inside so yeah if you like a cancer and you know they like you even if you're a female i recommend making the first move because it's going to take a while for them to make that move on you they have to be 150 percent sure of something before they dive right into it so keep that in mind number four is that the cancer can be very insecure oh my god so insecure but they come across as snobby and confident i hope you guys don't think i'm bashing cancers like i said rising sign cancer i love cancers i also dislike them but i do love them um but i'm just being honest you know so anyways um very 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 insecure sign they are they, they constantly need validation they constantly need you to tell them like no no you look good no no i do love you no 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 don't worry about that guy i'm not even talking to him like that we're just friends no 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 don't worry you'll get the you know, like 
they always need validation. They constantly seek validation because of their insecurities, because of their self-esteem issues. A lot of them are like this, even if they're really good. I knew a cancer guy who's so good looking, has a lot going for him, has money, good job, good education, all of that stuff. Like there, there's like nothing wrong with him other than the fact he's a little bit fucked up in the mind. But there's like nothing wrong with him. So I remember just thinking, why are you so insecure? Like I could see it because you can smell someone's insecurities from a mile away. And I could tell he was. And I always wondered why, but honestly, he was a cancer, so. It all made sense when I thought about it from that perspective. Like, cancers can be very insecure. And their defense mechanism is coming across as cocky or confident or snobby. A lot of them that you meet, you'll think they're snobby, but they're not. They're such sweet people. Going into number five, they have to be one of the most considerate and caring signs out there. Like, something that you hear a cancer say so much is, are you okay? Are you doing all right? Is everything do is everything fine? Look, they're so nice. Like cancers are so considerate and caring. They will put other people before them. If you're in a relationship with one, you are a lucky person because they're great. They're I'm not compatible with them. Let me tell you. But if I was, I would love me a cancer because they're great. They are wonderful, wonderful lovers, and they're considerate and caring. Having one as your friend is just having someone that's always looking out for you and always has your back. So just remember that. Number six is that cancers like to be around the bush. I don't know why. They will like, like, they will make you run around in circles for hours upon hours before they give you a solid answer on anything or before they will tell you their opinion on something or before they finalize plans with you. Like they, they beat around the bush. Like it's so annoying. Like, oh my gosh, sorry. That's just like something that I really experienced with the cancers that I know. Like, you can never get a final answer out of them. You never, ever. It's because it has a, something to do with their insecurities as well. They're never sure of themselves. So they, they just don't like to finalize something because they're not sure. And it's just like, Oh, like just oh, like, keep me updated on whatever it is that I'm, I'm needing an answer for. Like, they like to beat around the bush. Like, that's a, a fact. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Number seven is that cancers are emotional. They like to act like they're not sometimes. They like to, no, they like to say that they're not, but you can see that they are. It's very obvious. Like, a Sagittarius can fool you into thinking that they're not emotional, but a cancer can't. They're very emotional. They're very, like, just, just, just emotional. Like, especially when you're dating one. Um, it can be a lot. They can be very clingy. Um, like very clingy so if you like clingy get you a cancer because they are very clingy and i know a lot of people they love clingy partners so that's a good thing at least um but yeah they, they can be very emotional so you just have to be like careful about what you say to them because they're sensitive and you can hurt their feelings really easily and they might not act like it hurt their feelings but it did so just be careful with what you say to a cancer because they don't forget going on to number eight cancers have another side to them they can be evil like and not even like the Pisces evil, like they're like a whole nother level of evil, like they are mean. Like if you fuck with a cancer or you upset a cancer, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna bottle up their emotions. They're gonna bottle up everything. So they're not gonna say anything. If you piss them off, they're not gonna say anything. If you upset them, if you anger them, if you make them feel a certain way, they're always gonna think that their feelings aren't validated. So they're not gonna say anything. So it's gonna build up, build up, build up. So one day when all of these emotions and feelings and thoughts and everything fill up, they're gonna explode. And they're gonna they're gonna turn to another person. Like like an evil, mean person. Like they're the kind of people that like, they can be so close with you, but they will say the meanest things that get under your skin that you would never think you'd ever hear from someone. Like disgusting, cynical, vindictive things. Mean, harsh words. I'm telling you, I've experienced it so many times. These cancers, not even that I've experienced it, I've witnessed it, I would say. These cancers go from zero to 100 real quick. Like it's scary and they, they just get mean and it's the kind of mean that you will never forgive. Ever, because the things they say they cannot take back because every time I've witnessed it they are another person like another person so just keep that in mind like try and be aware of when you're hurting a cancer if you think you're hurting a cancer but they're not saying anything don't think you got away with it just don't because there's a lot of times that they won't say anything so just like I said be careful with what you say because these cancers bottle up a lot a lot of things in mind it's it's a it's, it's too much to be honest cancers are extremely cheesy 
if you are in a loving relationship with a cancer they're probably gonna do some cheesy corny shit like <laughs> like a lot of stuff like they're gonna plan you romantic dates they're gonna buy you flowers if they're not cheap <laughs> which they are but i'm not even gonna include their, them being cheap as a fact. I know a lot of cheap cancers. Um, but yeah, they're gonna they're gonna make you feel really good. They're gonna spoil you and just treat you well. And they're just so cheesy and corny. They're probably gonna like I don't know. It's it's cute. It's not for me to be honest. I think it's really cute to see, but it's just like really cringy. A lot of people are into that though. So again, if you like someone corny or cheesy, get you a cancer because they are definitely that. Number 10 is, okay, uh, you, do you guys know about how like the crab is like the representation of the cancer? Like you know how we all have our signs, like I have the water bearer and then there's like the bull, you know what I mean? Cancer is the crab and the crab, it has a lot to do with their personality. Like the cancer crab shell is what they call it. It's like that shell that they always have around themselves that's protecting them from everything. So they're constantly wanting to be protected from everything and they put up their shell all the time. Like when they like someone, they put up their cancer crab shell and that's why they get all timid and shy. They can't look you in the eye. I, that rhymed um, or if they feel like someone's hurting them someone's taking advantage of them they put up their cancer crap shell um, a really big thing with the cancer is that they like to be in their house their house is like their shell so if you really want to get a feel of the cancer's real personality let's say you're just getting to know a cancer and you want to see the true them go to their house because you'll see them you'll see them change they're gonna be so comfortable and so different and just so themselves and that's them in their shell so they're more comfortable in there so you'll get their full personality in there if they're outside of their comfort zone you're not gonna get the real them um, you'll get them to a certain extent but just remember that like they have that little barrier that they put up and it comes down and it goes up and it's just like it's something that you should keep in mind because the cancers are very complex like they're a really interesting sign I really 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 like cancers um, they piss me off, yes, but they're cool, but they can be shy and they can also be very like cautious, but they can also be adventurous and daring. It all depends on the day. I'm telling you their moods are constantly evolving. Like they're just always different. They're always different. You, you never know what to expect out of a cancer. Um, this is like a side note, kind of like a, an 11. Cancers love food. So if you're trying to get a cancer, oh, and they love their mom too. So if you're trying to get a cancer, talk about your relationship with your mom. And tell them how much you love to cook. Those are your little your little bonus um, facts for the day. <laughs> if you're trying to scoop a cancer, okay. So yeah, those are the ten things about the cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it's shorter than the other ones. I don't know. Maybe I've just been talking fast. I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and if you relate to it, if you find yourself similar to any of these traits, and you are cancer yourself, let me know down below. And stay tuned for my next zodiac video or any of my other videos because I post like three times a week. Let you know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out all of my social medias. As you can see, they have been on the screen. Okay, so bye guys. I'll see you in my next video.